What's up, fool podcast? What's up, fool podcast? What's up, Woo! wherever you're at, man? I hope you're watching us and and um, <laughs> donating money to us, giving us cash. Yeah. We need it. What's up, fool podcast? We don't need it, man. We just do this for fun. Hell yeah, dog. Nah, we do it for the sponsors. <laughs> we don't have any today. The cause and for the people that listen to us, for they have nothing better underwear. To do. Nobody yeah. wears <laughs> gambling on the internet for what? I like to lose money live, bro. We have Leslie Jones here from Ghostbusters. In the Woo! house. Coming to America too. SNL. Oh, it's a badass movie too. Oh, yeah. You killed that shit. That was funny. Oh, man. That, that was a good sequel. Like, it took like almost 30 years, but it was a good sequel. That was the best part. Yeah. Usually movies that take a long time for a sequel, they're not that good. But that one was... It, it was it was all right. Yeah, like Super Troopers too. That shit sucked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they the buried that yeah. thing six feet deep. The new, Indi- <laughs> the new Indiana Jones, bro. Come on, dude. Like, dude, he has a cane, bro. Come on now. <laughs> I'm waiting for an airplane. Oh, Indiana Jones has a cane. <laughs> no, I'm fucking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, like, oh, I'm waiting for a soul plane too, bro. Soul jet. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> that movie made more money on bootleg than it did anywhere else, bro. That's how it got heat. Yeah. 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 Cause that's how I saw it was bootleg. I'm gonna be honest. There were people watching that movie with like you could see the director's cut, like you could see the director cutting it. <laughs> yeah, you could see people getting up from their seats, <laughs> real to real, baby. going to the exit, sneaking their friends. In. Man, <laughs> we, we, me and Leslie, we used to perform at the Laugh Factory, like when people were leaving, bro. Midnight like, show, right? Yeah, at midnight. We were like the 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 king and queen of the midnight show. Her and I, Chiffy Haddish, and like mm-hmm. and, and three years um, straight, and, right? General, what's the name of my um, Holtzman. Brian Holtzman. Brian Holtzman. It was us at one, bro. Yep. Yep. And I used to tell him, I was like, yo, Jamie, I literally on the road everywhere else, like I'm on the same show as these people that you put on at 10 o'clock. What the fuck? And I remember him. I was like, <laughs> I was like I'm going to remember, like, if I fucking blow up. I'm going to remember, motherfucker, like, that you did this, like, you just wasn't giving me no love. And buddy, I buddy, him, And I buddy. remember him looking at me going, oh, I doubt that very seriously, Leslie. And I was like, you doubt what? Doubt that I'm going to blow up? I think two months later, boom. Boom, fool. Yeah. Gone. That's what I told him, too, man, when, 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 I, when I had him on the, on the podcast. Him and Fraser Smith did my podcast. Hey, buddy. I remember uh, Jamie Masala, man, when I came and did your um, your three minutes in front of you at the Laugh Factory audition, and um, you were taking your shoes off talking to me, and you <laughs> said that I'm not going to make it for another six to eight years. Well, I'm here to tell you, man, you were wrong, brother. Well, it my took thing a, was... It took another 10 or 12. <laughs> what? what the hell you do, you loser? Yeah. Well, my shoes thing is, is that he's had people lining up where you sit in that chair... And you had to line up so you give you. Leslie, you're so funny. I want you to come back in six months and try again. Oh, no, I never went stood in that line. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Get I, I, I did. I, that did was him. I did fucking New York. I had been to New York and mm-hmm. all of that. And I was ripping everywhere. And when I got in there, and I remember seeing that line going, what these, these motherfuckers, why are they standing in the line You've for been there this since 9 motherfucker? A.m. Yeah. yeah, like this motherfucker, though. Like, I've never seen him do comedy. I've ne- like what the fuck, and I just remember thinking, oh well, I won't right be standing in that line. Jim Asala and left. Won't get Jim the Asala fuck left dude. Iran with only two million dollars to start off with. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, there's no comedy in Iran back in the eighties, bro. Or no, 70s. He, le- he left yeah. Iran with only two million dollars. That's two oh, passports. Shit, that's, yeah, it's a passport a, per a million to, to start off in LA, man. What was the hardship? Yeah, but now he had to be a dishwasher in a comedy store, learn how to do you, do you run still a club. Do the laugh I was doing the laugh fashion a long time. Not even I, I used to do the the Thanksgiving all the time too, the Christmas shows, but I stopped doing them. Leg day, fool. I can't. Oh, yeah. You're right. Our Renee, homie Renee, Renee Vaca, Vaca, dog. Leg day at the Renee Vaca does laugh a show fashion. called Leg Day. Leg day. Leg day. Yeah. And I did his show. I Jealous ass fools. That's no. right. I yeah, fool. Like his movie. show's different though. Like, it's, yeah, yeah, it's not like a laugh factory show. It's his. It's, it's his audience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but the laugh factory looks different, bro. It's oh like, no, dude! The last they time slice I was there, seats. 
Yeah. They, made it, they made it more dangerous to run during a fire. <laughs> yeah, I, you will I die. Walking in there, the last time I walked in there, Chris D'Elia was on stage, and I was like, "Oh, this is hell. Oh, this is like <laughs> well, you know how like where this is the room in hell. Like, oh, for real, that all the comics come to do." If like, they're in hell. Like purgatory, kind of? or like, I don't know. No. Hell, hell, dog. Like, hell, the devil's dog. there with the pitchfork. And I'm just like, and he's doing material that I was like, damn. Like, okay. I'm just, and I I remember leaving because I remember thinking, feeling like I'm suffocating. I'm not supposed to be here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah, that, that, and then just like improv, still same old thing. You know, it's just the same old fuck. It just, it really upsets me that comedy the comedy circuit has not changed. Like it's a very gay. And the comedians have the comedian like the comedians I came up with was like Honest John and oh, shit. you know Alex Thomas and you know Dare Heat like people like that. That and, was funny. You know, fuck, seeing man. people I've see meeting Felipe. i me and Felipe knowing each other for fucking ever. And so it's like Forever, remember ever. doing what 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 was that room? That Spanish room was the Coyotes. Wild Coyotes. Wild Coyotes. Oh my Tortillas. god! Remember I remember doing that room, uh, meeting Willie Bar. Barcina for the first time. Sub, having bro, my, bro. Having my first ah. Willie Barcina story. Like yeah, everybody has a Willie, Willie Barcina story, <laughs> but it's like it's it fucking pisses me off that the the circuit has not grown. Yeah. And as much as the comics that has fed it. Yeah, regardless of the breakthroughs, it it's still the same shit. It's it like since the nineties. But it hasn't see, but adapted it, to the new uh the well, new ways. Well, yeah. the, but the thing is, is that the thing is, is that back in the day when we used to have to do these comedy clubs, you know, the club owners did club uh, uh, cared enough to go, hey, you need to work on this, you need to do this, you need to. But they were solid people who right. who really like were ingrained gave a fuck and gave a fuck about the club or whatever. But like now, it really has turned into a business. Comedy went through this phase of. A butterfly and into a money business so that's where you started seeing all the shows and number and, crunching and now at the point now where the audience is now spoiled y'all y'all spoiled and don't know the difference between what a tiktok comic is oh, yeah. and what a motherfucker like me and felipe i didn't man i the didn't see felipe fucking do man you i've seen felipe walk on stage and you go this motherfucker, what is he? And he will say one thing and blam the whole order and then take What's his up, time. Everybody? It's because, different. Because that's because no, but that's what we came up with. And and I always remember his girlfriend would see his and he rip and go, yo, I got I got another spot. I got another spot. And she'd be right behind him. Yep, we got another spot. Do you get what the fuck I'm saying? Like it's like and it's so it's so how can I put this? It's so um uh, it's just saturated. Yeah, it's saturated with with fucking just not un un unauthenticity. First of all, just people who are just not authentic, and then just ha are making a mockery of it. It's it's uh, like selling a t shirt. All of a sudden, you know, I can do a joke, and if it can, if I can make the line sell, then bam, I'm a comic. You know what I'm saying? But y'all don't understand that like. When you when you when you do when you sell yourself short of a project product, it's just like getting a cheap ass computer. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna work in Omaha, motherfucker. Not well. Not with that five minutes of fucking bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Not with that. And then I gotta come up as a headliner and clean up your fuck shit. Damn. That no. you have decided to think that just because you got a million likes. They don't listen, fool. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like like you're not writing fucking like you're not going through the fucking ringer. Like, I tell y'all young motherfuckers, and th listen, I've been told by people who started before me this same fucking thing. And when they was telling me this shit, I was like, man, fuck them. They don't know. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know. But I'm going to tell you, young motherfuckers, y'all will never, ever get to be as funny as you fucking can because you aren't going through the fucking obstacles that we fucking mm -hmm. actively fucking kill for you. And they don't even listen. And, and and you don't listen and you don't understand that like that shit runs short. You have to put foundation behind the fucking wall. Do the yeah. goddamn work. We did the work. There was when I first started comedy, like, yeah, we was broke as fuck, but it never really was about money. It was always about Hell can yeah. we make this fucking audience laugh? Like, damn, am I gonna be funny tonight? Because fuck most yeah. of us are gonna have face type somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah mo most of us had jobs. I, I always had a job. 
Like, like, there's no such thing as no fucking starving artist. Whenever I hear somebody that's a comic and they tell me they live in a car, I go, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you're a yeah, fucking dog. dumbass yeah. mother. I've always yeah. thought that You could shit. take your stupid ass and go mm -hmm. work at Del Taco. At least you will get free food, you piece like, of shit. Yeah. Like pay do. your fucking taxes. <laughs> pay your motherfucking rent. And be viable in this goddamn society. Not a fucking weirdo. Mm -hmm. Like cultivating we laziness. Yeah, we I'm just so yeah. sick of it. I'm sick. Because you know what? What pisses me off about you young motherfuckers is that y'all think y'all inventing the wheel. You're not. <laughs> the wheel has always been here and it will always be round. It will always go round and round. You will never change that. Only thing that you can do is maybe change the way the wheel looks. Yeah. But only after you respect the wheel itself. That's the only time you're going to be able to create. You got all these flat earther comics now. <laughs> flat I don't earth. even <laughs> podcast to, comics. I don't talk podcast to people com, who yeah. who believe the world is flat. I don't. <laughs> I don't do that. I don't do that. Yeah. I don't Smash carry a conversation. Shit. I'm serious. My assistant. No, for I real. Had an assistant. So crazy. I had an assistant, and I'm because I'm not gonna mention her name or whatever. But I had an assistant, and um, we was at the basketball game, and I remember she hugged Kyrie. And I was like, "Why the fuck are you talking to Kyrie? Kyrie thinks the fucking world is flat. What the fuck you? Why are you talking to an idiot?" And she literally <laughs> opened her mouth and she said to me, well, it is. It is flat. You haven't read the things. You haven't did the information. I said, <laughs> Informations. when I say that I can't, I almost got a whiplash for how fast my neck switched around. I said, bitch, don't you ever say that shit out loud again. Not around me. I do not need people to think that I have dumb motherfuckers around me. Do you understand me? I don't understand I'm how dead, your dog. stupid <laughs> fucking Pete, you... Let me, Let me calm down. How you look at the moon <laughs> yeah. and think that the world is flat? Like you really like it's just like it's like oh you're a flat ass or you like flat ass. <laughs> flat ass you can have good. flat ass. Yeah. There's a such thing as a flat ass. Yeah. Flat Felipe. Ass. <laughs> but that don't have shit to do with the world. Man, I was doing a show with Be Real TV, right? What's this going guy, on here? This guy showed me a map of the flat earth. I've seen that map before. It's my who? Steptone? Yeah. My brother has one, bro. You can, on, that free, on that map, you can take the 10 all the way to China. <laughs> and that's what the fuck I'm talking about. If it's flat like that, like I can drive now. I can drive to everywhere. Yeah. You are dumb. And then this is what I want to say. They have a, you know what I tell people? Have, you believe it's flat? Take a long walk off a of short earth. You Man, I, shit. they never <laughs> fall, huh? You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh yeah, Step from dog. the Def Jones. Step dog. Step dog. He uh, said. The guitar that, I asked him, Leslie. I asked this guy because I'm not arguing with him. I'm interested to know what he believes you, in. Yeah. Enlighten me. Enlighten me. You know. And he asked about. I said, "What about the moon? How are you gonna hide the moon at night?" He said, "No." And he he, had, he opened up his map again. Oh my god. And he goes, "See right through that island? That island is uncharted. Like nobody mentioned that this island is somewhere." For the what Pacific. island? This uh, island. What island? This the island flat Earth Pacific island. Pacific what Ocean. island? I'd have been then, yelling, "What island, you piece of shit?" And what was, island? And they were big. He said, "There's a big, oh big, God, mile long light <laughs> that they project to the sky to make it look like the like the." Moon. There's so many times that saw, I, also, I want to his quit favorite movie is what Truman I do show. and become a sniper. <laughs> There's so many times that I have said, "You know, I have made enough money in this business." Let me go ahead and get a list and said, support get a list. the things that need to be done. Little crosshairs And on. be a motherfucking sniper. Because <laughs> I, I just can't. Because I, I seen the map. Um, to them, Antarctica is a big uh, ice wall, like on the flat. That's earth. why you can't fall yeah. off, right? Yeah. Everybody that map has a map of the, that, that map not, doesn't have sideburns either. <laughs> <laughs> I got sideburns, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I can't even. Back. I don't even know what to say because I'm so mad. Yo, oh, 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 but check this out. It gets deeper, bro. Oh, the the, the, the deep. other fool showed up from um, <laughs> Funk Dubious. What's going the on? Homie. He's, a cool, he's a cool guy. Sun Doobie? Oh, Sun yeah. Doobie. Anybody Sun named Doobie, Sun but, Doobie. Yeah, that's that's very. The why the fuck would you listen to anybody some, named Sub some Sub or Sun Duty? Sun Sun Duty. Sun Duty. Here and I were smoking. So let's make it. Let's yeah. Let's break that down. Sun is it S O N or S U N? I have no idea, man. Exactly. I didn't even know. And the Doobie. Like the Doobie Brothers. This guy verified the homie story, and then I'm telling you, Steph Doc is for real. He took it to the next level. 
He believes in time travel. Dun, dun, dun. He has you proof. You know what? I believe, I believe in time travel bro, too. I'm going to travel back I was, and slap the shit out bro, of him. I was. Who was conceiving his punk ass. I was. Don't you have this, motherfucker. Don't you have this, motherfucker. Don't you have this. Time I will. Honestly, Leslie, I will. This fool believes time travel, bro. Forward or backwards? I mean, <laughs> back to only future. backwards, baby. I, mean, I have no idea. You know bro. what? Sometimes I feel like He's whenever I watch Benjamin a movie Benton and I watch some, some. Off the, I'll be like, they already got that shit. Because you gotta believe in I, time travel. I, I, let me know. You able to write the movie if you ain't that. If you can write it, you can fucking do it. Fuck it. Hell yeah. They got that shit. Wish it, want it, do it. What? <laughs> watch no, it. Do you it. said if you could write it, do it. And right. I said, wish it, want it, do it. Wish it, want it, do it. God damn it. Wish well, it, want to do it. If there, you build it, they will come. There's some scientists that say, I mean, it's impossible well, to go backwards. Who are these scientists? Yeah. But forward, is, is, if you're in space and you're there, um, it's. Interstellar. If huh? you're there, for, yeah, interstellar or the like third, fourth, the apes. Yeah, what do you mean interstellar? Where you mean? could be up there for like a couple of days, but because the Earth rotates a lot, uh, when you you might be oh okay, but see, but that's you, not going to the future. Exactly. But that's the not parallel going to the universe. That's actually Jay talking Fox over here, to man. some motherfuckers in the future. That's some old space shit. Yeah, yeah. that's some quantum shit. Yeah. Like, first of all, until y'all all can yeah. show me a doctrine or in a fucking certificate that say you are <laughs> a certificate. Fucking sky person. Sky <laughs> Space sky Force. Sky Force. Space Force. Who's gay? <laughs> Who's gay? Hey. Space Space X. <laughs> Another one. And sit your motherfucking ass down. Prone tub. I one, get so sick. I just so Time tired. travel and fate, uh, flat earth kill me. Like, how can you both oh, all Just all at of the that. same time. All of that. I guess you'll yeah. never know, man. I thought I was going to come here and talk about some intelligent shit. <laughs> come on, let's put on our thinking <laughs> caps, fellas. Fuck shit. Put on your <laughs> thinking <laughs> cap, bro. bro. Fuck shit. Well, you, 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 where did you read that at, bro? Yeah, where? TikTok? Well, I mean, what? The some scientists say. Oh, no, I mean, I mean that's the thing where, you know, you're in space. You mean? Uh, the Earth no. rotates longer, so when you come back, go so be. So you're saying you learned that in a class. No, no, I mean, no, I'm saying. Did you, you don't want to know what he class? learned in the class. I want to learn. I want to know where you yeah. learned it from. Did you learn it from the internet? Internet. Or did you yeah. go to to have class? You ever, <laughs> listen up, people. Nobody have you, class have you ever driven to um, um, Palm Springs, and, and you know the windmills but they're on the, on the desert. Okay, first of all, the, 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 the windmills black people drive the palms. Okay, the windmills. <laughs> I mean, unless, you know, black gay people bus. do, but <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think black, black people. I don't think I have physically ever driven to Las Palm Vegas. Vegas. To, I, I drove to Las Vegas. Is Palm Springs through that? Uh, no. Okay, well then, nah. Oh, yeah. I ain't never been You never seen the white Springs windmills? In the desert? I've seen them, like, yeah. but I haven't seen them. But like, you've seen them. Because you they're in Long you know, Beach, You know too. what they are, right? They're in Long Beach, well, Yeah, well, this guy right here. They're in Long Beach, yeah. too. So, hell yeah, I'm seeing them <laughs> bitches. Well, this guy right here. He oh, did. did you invent them? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> no I, I, Close I, enough. I, 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 I said a joke that those are fans to keep the people warm because it's so hot no, out there. No, really, this guy came in here one day. <laughs> This guy came in here one day and said that those things are fans to yeah, keep, to keep the people warm. To keep to, the people, it's so hot. To keep, yeah. to keep the LBC cool. To you know air condition the, thing, the yeah. earth. Shut yeah, yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know how hot it is? You wouldn't do nothing but make hot air. That's, of course, that's yeah, those, those are hot. Yeah, Damn, I, mean, I didn't even think of that, dog. Yeah, yeah, Double are, wrong. Yeah. You invented hot tornadoes. Y'all do no. <laughs> Humidity. Just ignorant. Just ignorant. <laughs> ignorant. <laughs> Ice got to be involved. Some type of yeah. ice, some type of formula. Yeah, that like, makes this cool. like, like, <laughs> like, 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 like a swamp cooler, basically. That remind me of when, uh, yeah, when like Bugs Bunny made I those. I swear to God, I will kill you. When Bugs Bunny made those Dude, snowballs man. in the desert, he goes, how can you make snowballs in the desert? Why well, it's too cold. It's too cold in winter to make them. And I was like, maybe that's true. Maybe it's too cold. Right. But then you said it has to be a certain temperature to make snow, right? Yeah. Yeah, it has to be a. Yeah, but did you yeah. know it has to be a certain uh, temperature for tomatoes to turn red? Did you know that? No, that's yeah. why you got green tomatoes. Exactly, ah. exactly. That's why my you're from a farm, right, Monterey? It like <laughs> and it's been too hot, so my tomatoes won't turn red. Oh shit! They're nice and beautiful, but they just know they won't turn red. 
I heard they call like tomatillos. Like they call them tomatillos in Spanish. Green tomatillos. Man, I know what the fuck I planted. Tomatillos. Give me the turnips. That's my nickname. I ain't, I ain't plant no damn tomatillos. <laughs> I, I planted tomatillos. Oh my tomatillos. God, dude. Tomatillos. 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 So you have a book out right now? Yes, yes. It's Woo. called Hell Leslie yeah. Fucking Jones. Leslie Fucking Jones. Hell yeah. Yes, it's coming out September the nineteenth. Awesome. And the audio. The audio is going to be off the chain. Audio? Yeah, man. That shit's off the chain. How long did it take awesome. you to do that? Um, In a week. Really? Hell week. yeah. It's seven hours long, but it took us. It took me a week to record it. We did like four hours a day. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, Congrats. yeah. And it's, it's a really good book. It's, a, it's, you know. Put the book up again for my TikTok listeners. You detailing your life? Huh? You detailing your life, your career? Yeah, Leslie yeah, Jones. Yeah, I F. tell them. Jones. I'll, they always, they have some people, so many people ask me so many questions like this, this, and that. I was like, let me just, and they was like, yo, you want to write a book? And I was like, shit, why not? Like, fuck it. And what, you know what's so weird about it? I'm really nervous about it. It's like, you know, I smoke weed so long. Hell yeah. And I just be like, is the accuracy. You know what I'm saying? It's a, how much is the accuracy? You know, did I get that right? Like, we worked a lot on the timeline. It was like, oh, shit. Like, I literally took started taking ginkgo. Seriously. I started taking ginkgo. I was like, I got to get this memory back. Because the, the timeline, we kept reading. I was like, I know this is not right. Jensen ginkgo? Like, yeah. The, well, you know what the I started doing? It's like I started a, really thinking it's about like a gen- it. Yeah. Yeah, what I started doing was I started really thinking about the timeline before I would go to bed, and it would be really weird because it seemed like I would dream it or something, and then I would wake up and go, holy shit, that went before this, before that. To get your math this. right. Yeah, man, because it it's fucking was hard to remember those years from high school to how I made it to comedy because, you know, so sh- so much shit happened Time flies. It. You know, fucking college and the life and just like all kinds of shit went on and then i was like damn i'm supposed to accurately remember that shit and then remember the times that i went up. it was just so so that's the thing that i'm i'm always worried about that i'm if i'm telling the story correctly but you know this is what i tell people is like this is how i remember it you know? oh yeah you know this is how i remember this it is what it is son you know, I, t- I talk about the Ghostbusters. I talk about SNL. Talk about Supermarket Sweep. I talk about yes. All this shit. Question from the back. Fuck yeah. You're from Tennessee, right? Memphis, Tennessee. I thought you were Tennessee. from New York. Memphis, Tennessee. But I, you know, I've lived between New York and and LA. Mostly LA because that's where we came from after Memphis. My dad moved us down here. Oh, cool. Yeah, he was a uh, electronic engineer. He moved down here to work with uh, Stevie Wonder at his radio station. Oh, really? So wow. Hey, nice. Yeah. So, that's awesome. Yep, yep, yep. yep. He's a part-time so, DJ. As long as it's a key like and, and you started oh, doing yeah. stand-up in college, right? 87, 1987, I was in a comedy contest. Somebody entered me into a oh, comedy wow. contest. And then I came back here to L.A. And, uh, oh, shit, I was bombing. Like, I, I was young. I, it's just because I didn't understand. I knew that I wanted to. I knew that people were telling me I was funny, but I didn't understand the the formula of comedy yet, you mm-hmm. know, and I knew that it involved telling jokes and I knew what I wanted. Like I was trying to be like Eddie Murphy, but I wasn't Eddie Murphy. I was Leslie, you know, so yeah, I was fucking up a lot until I saw Jamie Foxx and Jamie Foxx was like, cause coming out of only seeing Whoopi Goldberg, Richard Pryor and, and, and Eddie Murphy, you think those are the only people who mm-hmm. really can make me laugh as fuck, fucking hard as I've laughed mm-hmm. inside of my soul. And you don't know that there's other working comics that these motherfuckers came up with. And Jamie Foxx was like, he he wasn't like who he was. He was just like a, com- a headliner, definitely on his way, but he w- hadn't hit yet. Yeah. And um, basically that, like your contemporaries. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. And that motherfucker came out and I was like, I couldn't believe that he was performing like that because I was like, holy shit, wait a minute, wait a minute. How, how does he, wait a minute, he's like, this is like some Richard Pryor shit. This is like, oh my God. Like, I was really influenced that somebody else could do that shit. So, um, that wasn't in the limelight like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so it was more of a, a, a learning base of like talking to him and him telling me that you're fucking, because I was 18. He's like, you're fucking a baby. You don't know shit. 
You ain't. He said, "Go get fucked. Go fuck somebody. Yeah. Go get life fired. Experience. That's just true as fuck, right there, dude. Go yeah. fucking live life. He's like, go fucking break up some fights, fight some bitches, do all kinds of shit." He said, "Live life because you don't have nothing to talk about." And I was Hell doing yeah, these dude. jokes that I were writing that were actually good jokes because he I was listen doing this, perritos. Yeah, I was. Mm. This, I was doing this joke about my uncle, and he was like. He was like, yo, that joke that you're doing about your uncle, he was like, actually is a good joke, but you don't know how to tell it because you're not a comic yet. He was like, but when you learn Damn. how to be a comic, you're going to come back to that joke and be able to kill that joke. And that's really crazy because it's like, that's when I, I think that was 87. And I, I went and lived life until about 93. And then I started comedy again. Wow. A whole different animal. A whole different animal. Oh, I have been through the fuck shit by that time. What? Motherfucker, I do stab, tabbed, all of that, dabbed, everything. I, <laughs> I did every motherfucking thing in that six years. I, I mean, not every, but at, almost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Been through a lot of shit enough to where I enough was Enough life like, experience. Enough too. to where I was like, oh, I can go up and talk about something. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, I mean, started in 93 at the Comedy Act Theater. and I went there twice. Yeah. And Maver Maverick's Flat. This is back though when the radio station Rico used to run. Remember across the street there used to be a a, a barbecue spot. Yeah, but what's that? Are you talking about Mavericks or you talking about Oh Phillips? Yeah, Phillips, remember, and they closed. Yeah. Phillips closed, but they moved. That was the first Crenshaw. place I ever been to in North Hollywood. That no, it's in South Central. Oh. They have they, they used to serve it in a, in a little bag and they used to open it like this. Yeah, yeah, I've been that was there. the first place I've been to that they served barbecue. With a sliding door, a little, a little white hut. Were, cause I remember, and, I, and it had the bread and shit. Oh yeah, man, I remember it was, it was good, my first man, time. Man. I was like a dork, right? He goes, "Where do I, where do I eat it at?" He goes, "Turn around." He goes, "Turn around, turn around." He goes, "Yeah, man, you can eat that anywhere you want." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like in the parking lot, we used and to I, eat the parking lot goes, tearing shit. And up. I, was, and I was thinking to my in my head, damn, if, if these motherfuckers funny out here, how fucking funny are they inside? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of yeah. personality, and, and man. They were yeah. dog. They a lot fucking of were. Yeah, no. But the you, host was killing, bro. Man, it was that's, AJ's and then you, you find show. that out. It was um that guy from Rob, Robert Harris did it for a little while. Then Ricky Harris he just passed away. Yeah, Ricky Harris did it, and then AJ Johnson was there. Sometimes. AJ Johnson. Yeah, he was from there for from a Friday. While. He was yeah, hosting. He was there for a little while, but they they was they would change the host sometimes, some nights. But that that was the thing that I I was doing. I was going between Comedy Act and fucking um, Mavericks, and you know little spots here and little there. Little Sammy told me to go there. And uh, Bird uh, Birdland in Long Beach. And what's Birdland. so really funny? You remember, you know Kim Whitley, right? Yeah, Golden Kim Sales. Whitley, Kim Shout Whitley out. used to fucking come to the Comedy Act Theater, and she would do her spot. And she had a boyfriend that had a motorcycle at the time. And I don't know if she remembers this shit, but the, I remember she would get on a motorcycle and she was like, I'm about to go to the comedy store. You need to start going to the comedy store and the Laugh Factory and all those clubs instead of just doing these black clubs. And I was like, nah, nah, I'll make it my way. <laughs> and she was like, all right, bitch. And she just, Boom. you know, and, and this is what I'll tell comics now. I mean, which comics know now, you know, you got to do everything. You got to do every club because the, the tags that you might get in a Spanish club or a white club or a black club are definitely going to be different than the tags than the peers that you get hang around. I promise I've tested it true and true. I've, I've, I've been places and done my special and go to a black club and I'll get the same tags that I would come up with. Not saying that they're not funny or anything, but we do think along the same lines, but I'll take that same joke to maybe a Spanish club or white club and find out that there's a whole yeah. different fucking like branch that I didn't even yeah. see that uh, to do to a jokes and stuff. So every comic should, I think especially every great comic that's great in their fucking genre and their race should definitely mix that shit up. Yeah. Always go do different fucking like, like tweak yeah, stuff man. around. Oh my yeah. God, just go do black clubs. Go do fucking mm -hmm. do all that shit. I, I mean, the one thing that I would say, like Honest John, people don't people don't remember when Honest John was do micro Honest. Berritos. Yeah, yeah, but little he tie dye shirt and that little yeah, leather jacket. Y'all don't remember Honest John used to not be funny. Honest John used to have mm -hmm. Reginald Denny joke. I remember the now, Reginald, hold on a minute. Reg, Reginald Denny joke, and he would do this I joke. He would pull out the Reginald Denny joke, and I was like, Oh shit, my god! One day, one day, one day, and now Honest John, you can't fuck with Honest yeah, John man. because oh, he kept fucking at it, and that's that's the truth. Oh, the original Denny joke. I remember that shit. 
You remember how Reginald Danny drove a truck, drove a truck. I don't know why he would do that truck. strength. Then that was he got stupid, really dude. fucked up. It's something. It's really fucking. He's from funny. Rhode Island on his job. Yo, it's it's really fucking like I'm t- like, but you you know you look at comics like that. Like when I went to New York, I was doing rooms that I had never ever heard of that race. I did an Albanian room. I had never <laughs> yeah. heard of Albanians. It's like oak, what right? the <laughs> fuck is an Albanian? But I made the motherfuckers laugh. The and that's all I gave a fuck about. The you know Armenian Italians. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I didn't give a the fuck. The Armenian Italians. <laughs> okay, you know, that, that's offensive to say that. Armenian, the no. Armenian Italians. No, 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 no. Come on, man. Yeah, right, right, the right. Mediterranean. And I used to love doing say. the Spanish clubs. That was my favorite because I could do always do my Selena joke. Because <laughs> I think for real, I always say this. For about four years, I was Spanish. I considered myself Spanish, and I, and it's fucked up that I didn't learn Spanish because I had the opportunity yeah. to learn Spanish. So this girl that I met, worked with, Mary Lou, I worked at Roscoe's in Pasadena, mm, uh, right off lake. of Lake Street. Lake, lake Avenue. Yeah, lake and Close. I lived right That's around the, the corner. I lived right around the corner. And oh my God, I'm telling you, I don't even, I don't want to tear up because they was my family. Like everybody, like all of us was, was a family in that little, I had a little like duplex and they lived in the back. And I'm talking about these motherfuckers would always feed me, I would feed them. And we just <laughs> always, and they were the one who gave me my first Selena take. So I was like hooked. I thought Selena was like, the sun, the moon. I was like, she's <laughs> she's the next Mexican Madonna. Fuck that. You guys got to fucking know. And I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, I was, she dressed like her. The, yeah, yeah. I loved her. I was in love with her. So I had um, a, a girl that I worked with. Her name was Mary Lou. And Mary Lou wanted me to teach her. Um, um, oh, what was this song? Oh, uh, let's just kiss and say goodbye. She wanted me to teach her that song. And I said, if you teach me that song. You, uh, if I teach you that yeah, song, you have to teach me Coma La Flor. Yeah. So she taught me Coma La Flor, <laughs> and I taught her <laughs> Let's Let's kiss. Kiss. Yeah, and say goodbye. And it's just like I used to love to go to the Spanish clubs and do my Selena joke because that was my favorite, one of my favorite things to do that I, I always felt like in my heart. I was Because I was just like, how come Spanish? Because at the time, I was like, Spanish people and black people should definitely be getting along. We use the same spices. You're not telling, <laughs> yeah, me, yeah, we you're not telling me that La Tapatilla and, and cayenne pepper ain't the same shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're not telling me El Chicharrones and pork chops is not the same shit. It is, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Poor uh, people food, man. Yeah, a rest, what, what's know? the name of that restaurant we went to in Atlanta that's half Mexican, half black? Black, Me- black skin. Black skin. Was it good? His wife is Mexican. His wife is Mexican. Was it good? It was that good. Was such a good You know what's so crazy? A truck and a restaurant. I lived in Memphis. Instead and of we, black eyed peas, had, they had black eyed Juans. I, I've, I've lived in Memphis, so we had our night of tacos was the fucking shells that White you got. People and, tacos, yeah, right? Nice. El so when we moved out here to California, we moved out here to California, and Please. I remember this girl taking me to this taco place, and I was I ran home. I said, Daddy. These are not tacos. This is a taco. <laughs> so my grandmother came Even from bamboozle. Memphis. My grandmother oh my came from Memphis and we got her some because I was like, Grandma, you got to have some of this. This is the real tacos. Hell yeah. Why? She wouldn't eat them. She was like, no. It's still a lie. This is not. <laughs> this is not what tacos is. The, Dude. These you know, are too where's soft. Where's the Ortega shell? <laughs> yeah, Ortega. Yeah. What? That's what I was thinking about when I said Ma, that. Mom, no. <laughs> my first time ever having tacos like the one she's talking about, they brought them to my mom's house too like that. They were like... It, Man, they brought a bag. It goes tacos. He goes, and, and, and I thought right, it, I thought dude. it was like they, I brought their, I thought they brought like eight burritos, right? But then they opened it up and they were all greasy and oily, bro. Carne asada oh. and oh, al no. pastor. That shit was delicious, bro. Was <laughs> I ate them in Mexico the first time like that. Harsh tacos? Mom, no, regular mom, tacos. Like, people say like, "Oh, you taco eating motherfuckers." We've never made taco like that at the house, like that good. It's always been hard shell. Or, so or, really? or we, we made them well, well, we were pro too, so that's like a delicacy to have meat. We used to get the chorizo and eggs or just potato Ooh. tacos with ground mm. beef. It'd be like the weekend. Hard chorizo shell, bro. Yeah. yeah, chorizo and eggs mm-hmm. is bomb. Mm-hmm. My, my mm-hmm. roommate used to make those as burritos when we was very poor. Like breakfast burritos. Yeah, man, that shit's so cheap, man. You Hell yeah. do that with some eggs and make a... So feeling too, mm, so good. New What's churches? up, fool? So. Speaking of Corpus Christi, we were there last. We, we were, we were, we were, in, we were in Selena. We were at Selena's home. No shit. Corpus Christi, two nights ago at Corpus Christi, Texas. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. there was statue of Selena. 
Mm. Right there on the beach. It's a little statue? back shot. Yeah. Yeah. A full on statue, man. A monument, basically. Yeah. A monument. Yeah. I got arrested for humping a statue. They got me for a statue to rape. Don't hump Selena. Yeah. That's rude. <laughs> the okay. Del Rio. Um, I need, Big old booty. Need to, need to go, go there, man. That's like a Mecca. To Selena. Don't try to buy a shirt there, man. Her, her dad will kill you. <laughs> But you know what's crazy, Leslie? Like that joke about Selena. Like Selena's timeless because it's she's so relevant. Like the same as she was like what twenty five years ago. Like, cause the chick yeah. wants to get the, the chick wants to get out of jail. Oh, Yolanda's supposed she's coming she out. wants to get out of jail. She wants two, to get a parole. In two years, she's coming in two oh, years. Oh, they yeah. gonna kill her. I'm oh. surprised that she didn't get killed in jail. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't kill her in jail. I'm gonna be honest with you. That she I, she gonna have to be under protective custody for the rest of her fucking life like she has to change she's have to change her identity you should be out like there by outside that prison waiting just, for it to come whoop out her like jack ruby up. out there yeah. i'm gonna beat this bitch, bitch. i'm gonna whoop your motherfucking ass <laughs> no leslie jones want to meet you yolanda because 30 <laughs> years is not enough people it's 30 still years bitch the, you, the the wound hasn't healed it's 30 still years yeah it's been that long for, uh, yeah dude the wound hasn't healed oh, it's it's pretty years fresh. So long yeah we're by rick mortis and all that huh but people still like i mean like people will still remember it's not fucking yeah <laughs> I remember the, yeah, there was a comedian, bro. They were gonna, they, they fucking, um, he was doing a show and uh, down there he had a he had a horrible, Set. horrible Selena joke, and then it was a hacky joke, but he switched it to Selena. Uh-huh. They paid him and they sent him home. They weren't yeah. having it. He said that um, I had a chance to meet Elvis last night, but then my shovel broke. But he didn't say Elvis. He said Selena. Oh wow! Damn. Damn. my shovel broke. Like, uh, dig her up. Even like a the fuck is wrong? <laughs> Boo! Get this motherfucker <laughs> out of here! Exactly. <laughs> That's a hacky. Because when, when I told her this comedian that joke, Chris Fonseca, <laughs> that a joke. Give me some Chris Fonseca, bro. What? No, come on, real for a second. Yeah, I can't even think of that fool right now. Uh, Cheetos, and I think of a wheelchair and a fool drinking a Corona. Chris Fonseca, the guy with cerebral palsy that we know. Just the other day. There you go. I woke up and my penis was orange. Now give me the woo. Then What's I realized. Chris, Chris Fonseca. Fonseca. I he's realized from Colorado, I, think. I was yeah. eating hot Cheetos yeah. last night. Is he funny? Oh yeah, he's funny. He's he, in a wheelchair he like this. He got Letterman once. He won like a like a like there a. There he is, da, da, da. He won an award or something, right? Like he was awarded something. You remember Charles Warren? You remember Charles no. Warren was doing that shit way before from Philly. He was out of Philly. I hope he's still alive. It's weird how you hear comedy who passed away. It's from the old days. I know, right? Yeah, man, the fool be dropping, dog. Dude, a lot because we don't realize that we were fucking old. <laughs> I know. Then you realize, go down. He he never quit. Shout out to him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's real talk, though. Like we we've been fucking doing this shit a long fucking time, man. Like, yeah. Did you have any, any comedian friends during COVID? Uh, homeboy that passed away, um, Joel Cholo. Oh man, he wanted to die alone, right? Ah uh, uh, man. Uh, he diabetic, was diabetic, got COVID, sick. and it's like, let's go hang out with everybody. Yeah, he, di- he was diabetic. He already lost a foot. Right here, we lost a foot. He was he in a wheelchair. Lo- he lost two And legs. he was doing yeah. sweaty ass comedy shows that were like, what? Well, um, they were like, what do you call those? Underground, uh, underground comedy shows during the late. pandemic. During the height of COVID. He had diabetes, yeah. All oh, those pre existing conditions. Also passed away, too. Rest in peace. That was in COVID, also? though. Oh, yeah, also. Yeah. Also, why does that sound familiar? He was a security guard at the Wild Coyotes. No. Sunset. 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 He produced a bunch of shows, but then he passed away. But that was like. Not uh, natural causes, so bro. You wear baseball it. socks, bro. Like you play baseball. Those are stirrups. These are. uh You play baseball? No, I don't. Look, no, I saw that you have that black sock. Like you wear, you're like you play for the White Sox or something. No, these are. I think Adidas or something. Third base. The, the fake the, Adidas. The white Adidas? line. No, I don't know. That is. Okay. Why you got baseball socks? <laughs> I don't have. I don't. I don't even play baseball. You play second base. These are Adidas or Adidas or something like that. Those, <laughs> the, 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 the stripe looks like you play like sanitaries. Oh, there's that. I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything about sports, man. Yeah. I mean, really? No. Why? Are you a know. nerd? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not a nerd. No, I mean, it's, cool. it's cool if you're a nerd. I, I, I skateboard. I, I, I'm a, that's yeah, not a, I'm a sport, right? How many? Well, I mean, you Olympics, know what? Let me take that back. That is. How many cuffs <laughs> are those pants, bro? Like, are you, those are your dad pants? No, these Step are. Dad's pants. I, these are just like a little. Uh, I, no, no, it's nothing wrong with being a bottoms. skateboarder. You know, they, that's just in the Olympics yeah. now, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Let me not say it's not a sport, but I don't think you're going. You, you did it for free, though, right? Not, I'm not you're not for, going to. The I am not going at all. I am not. Uh, I, 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 you or something. I am you, too old for that now. You you got good at skateboarding, right? I had a sponsor in high school. Uh, uh, really? A skate, you, a, a skate you were a pervert, right? <laughs> what happened? Barry oh, the pervert guy? You were a pervert? The, the sponsor? Was he a little pervert? No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, what? No, that was at the movie the theater. sponsor? No. Your no. sponsor was a pervert? No, he wasn't. What was yeah, going on? That's, <laughs> let the story come out. <laughs> <laughs> I got molested out of the skate Come shop. On, dude. <laughs> Zested up, bro. My spheres. How'd you guys oh, SNL? Yeah. No, no, not SNL. <laughs> that was so funny. You know how fucking Felipe. Uh, <laughs> Man, I remember one time, dude, we were hanging out late at night. He knows. Like late at night, right? Late at night. In the back where it wasn't so. In the pretty. back of the improv. Late, late. It was Corey Holcomb. Her and I, and two other older comics. I don't forget who they were. Not important. And um, and, and maybe it was Tiffany Haddish there too. And then we we're talking about stand-up comedy. You know how Corey is, right? And you know how Corey goes, man. The reason y'all haven't made it because y'all haven't fucked nobody, <laughs> right? And then she says straight, I ain't gonna fuck nobody to make it. And then Tiffany says, I ain't gonna fuck nobody to make it, right? And then, and then, and then, and then, Corey were like, you know, it seemed to think everybody had fucked somebody to make it, right? And um, the next day, Corey Holcomb was on fucking uh, last comic standing without an audition. Oh shit! <laughs> right? And then, and then, like a year down, later, bro. she became an SNL, and then later on, Tiffany, of course, she she was on she was on last comic standing when I was on, but her and little her and little Ray ended up being stars. So I'm right here interviewing another well, I star. Well, I remember I auditioned for Last Comic Stand. They didn't. They said that this is exactly what they said. Oh, well, Leslie, people are laughing at you instead of with you. I said, Damn. what the was James fuck Masala is the there? Fuck. The fuck is the difference? You right? Yeah. What? Yeah. What the shit? fuck? I always thought about that. Who Who are the judges? Uh, the the ones who used to book uh late night uh used to book Jimmy Fallon. I, I, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I, I thought it was a gay comic Ant. that year. Ant. That was the first Ant was year. funny though. Ant's funny. But though. he was not a judge, right? He was a. I think he, he was a judge, judge later on. He was a, later on. Yeah, yeah, like fourth or fifth season. Yeah, yeah man. Um, but the Olympics. Um, uh, I always watched the Olympics. That was never not something I didn't do. Like every, the Olympics was always a big thing yeah, she had a in my house. For it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, since I was a kid. It's like, a cool summer event. W- well, back in the day, you they used to close businesses for two weeks because wow. the Olympics was here and every channel showed it. It was a thing. It was an American thing. You sat down and you watched the fucking Olympics. I remember now, 84 in had, L.A. That's everybody how Everybody had their yeah. own favorite thing to watch, but for two weeks, shit was shut the fuck down. I mean, wow. and it was it was allowed. So, um when I when I I think when I got SNL, I had already started doing some kind of tweeting, live tweeting. I, I was noticing that I was like, I can't believe people like this. This is so stupid. Like, <laughs> this is just me watching TV and it and I and badly recording is just was so hilarious. But it's just a commentary. Thought, yeah, a commentary. But it's hilarious because that and people struck would, a nerve. people would be like, Oh, Caught I want to watch TV with you, and I was like, No, you don't. <laughs> Because we don't get through the program. That's why I watch by myself. I have to pause. I have to yell. There's <laughs> all kinds of shit going on. But I, I started, you know, doing that. And I was like, well, we were off, I think, for the Olympics. And uh, the, since I had, and this is so funny, do not laugh. But I was like, I'm off. I got money. My bills is paid. I'm going to do the Olympics like the fuck I want to do the Olympics. So I bought a laptop. I bought a, um, I bought a laptop. I bought a, uh, what's those things called? iPad. Uh, and I had, I had a big TV, had all the events on the oh, show. Oh, you had all Going the different at the same events. time. I had all the different events. I applied, I subscribed to the Olympic shit. I had all that shit. With the right? CIA, huh? Even the so sports was, are not that popular. I was watching that shit 24 seven. So I was, I was, uh, and I, it, this is it happened by accident. So I had already been doing a little bit of live tweeting, and I remember I was watching this bike race, and I was uh. like, "Why the fuck is this? These dudes running behind the bike? Because these motherfuckers like they would push the bikes off, and this motherfucker, I'm talking about this motherfucker was running, and he even turned the car. I was like, and I recorded. I said, "What the fuck is he doing? 
are you going to be in the race, motherfucker? <laughs> I, Emma, you going to meet me at the fight? And, and I, I, I posted that, and people were like, holy shit. Then I just started posting about And I was like, yo, this is making the Olympics. Like, Take people are watching the Olympics yeah. because I'm doing this. And I was very happy about that because, for me, I thought it was important that the Olympics is a very important thing. It's where we go to the games. Like, these motherfuckers train for fucking years. Oh, yeah. And how dare y'all not watch these motherfuckers yeah. perform the athletes at their most elite state fucking, uh, at, you know, compete at the games. So I was like, Physical cool, people. this is so cool. Like, people are watching. So I'm sitting on my couch, and this is the Rio Olympics. And live tweeting, and I get a call. Lauren calls me. Lauren Michael calls me. He goes, Yo, they want you to go to the Olympics. And I was like, no. <laughs> and I just started laughing. I just started laughing. I was like, <laughs> long jump. I was like, I'm a little bit too old for that. <laughs> Come on, dog. I'm a little bit too old for that, boss. <laughs> I was like, I said, the bitch's knees is out. You know, I don't know what event. And he's just like, you're an idiot. No, they just want you to come. He was like, talk to the dude. So the guy, I forgot what the guy's name is. It's not coming to me right now. But the dude that ran it calls me. And we were like friends Damn. to this day. And I cannot remember this dude's name. Peter Ubra. He's right. No, it's, he, he, ran, he had ran the Olympics for 11 years. Um, great guy. So he calls me. He was like, yo, you got to come out to the Olympics. You got to be here live. And I was saying, I was like, yo, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the same thing, you know, that I do at home live. Because you might punch me. Yeah, y'all events are different and shit, you know, and then plus they're in different places and stuff. But we went to Rio and I went to the Olympics and I'm telling you, it was one of the best things I have live with my eyes, see them run. It's the most beautiful. It changed everything in my in my whole se- like we were outside and watching Usain Bolt run. Damn. It, it was like seeing it with your own eyes. You will They're never, fast ever, as hell. ever be able. Majestic. It. I don't even. Yeah, it's just so. It's, it's. I can't even come up with words with it because these mother. And it was almost like it was slow motion in my eyes. Uh-huh. These motherfuckers was running. They were running. And listen, I'm talking about horses. These motherfuckers are horses. Athletes, Do you understand? Yeah. Like, woo, like all muscles. muscles. The strides. And I'm talking about they're I running. Saw a and you can see fast, the fucking really. veins in their fucking neck and ass. And you saying boat is in front of them just like. like they're, they're not regular humans. They're just they're like. I saw a person that should look favelas that fast. So <laughs> no, John Witherspoon used to have the best joke. He said, bang, I wish bang, he said bang. high jumper. He was like, no, long jumpers should be the best. Like they should be able to get the, away from the cops. So he was like, <laughs> 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 is it, is when I was a little kid, um, is, everybody knew who, who, like, if you were still, everybody that was uh, in the Olympics ended up being like a superstar. Like, well, you, they, knew, you knew who they were. Them, some yeah. of them, yeah. Like Lou Nadia Kamenish, Mary yeah, Lou Rest. Yeah, yeah. What was the other dude? Um, well, she's uh, a cheat now, right? Huh? What? Caitlin. Oh, Caitlin, right? yeah. yeah. Caitlin who? Jenner? Jenner. Bruce Jenner, oh, yeah, but that was, 70, yeah, yeah. That was Bruce 76. Bruce Jenner, yeah. 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 Was a long time ago. But for real, they did. They, usually, they were also I mean, the, yeah, I mean, supposed boxes. to be like that. I mean, yeah. they're, they're, at their, they're at their expert. They're getting nothing Jordan. Now. But you know what I found out, too? They do this it for is free. something really a crazy thing. So when I was there, you know, they would take me to the, they called it the Olympic Village. That's where everybody go and eat and all of that. Yeah. Mm. Now, what you're in this room with athletes, like at their motherfucking top performance. So the girl was telling me she was like, yeah. And I was like, God, beautiful. And I'm talking about <clears throat> motherfucking just o- Olympic, like for real gods walking around like, God damn. Oh, hey, God just, just damn. Oozing, just oozing crazy just auras. Just beautiful, right? Yeah. right? But check this out. So the lady goes, yeah, that's why they make sure they give every athlete 100 condoms. And. Well, I, they be fucking I, over I keep thinking in my head. The, the whole thing I'm thinking. The no, whole no, thing I'm thinking. Thinking. No, I mean, but I keep think about it. Orgy in my head. No, think about it. Think about you're at your top athletic. Yeah. The peak. sex, the sexiest. I don't even. I don't know if it's just about sex as much as it's about the sport at this point. Yeah. Like motherfuckers be fucking another motherfucker. That's like two gods. Bruce, 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 like an app. Ooh, chingao. Wow. <laughs> You're looking Can for you the, imagine? Uh, but you know what I heard? Did you right participate? <laughs> I heard that the bands. No, I wish. I, did I participate in the games? No, but I participated <laughs> in the games. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
forget where I read, but I, I read that they didn't want people to have Hell sex yeah. out there because it was going to fuck up, you know, like the training. So the beds were made out of... Uh, they say, bro. Women that, 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 They changed that. They changed that. The, the beds were made, the beds were made out of uh, cardboard, right? They the, changed the bed that. Frame, yeah. They changed that, especially after COVID and all of that. Uh, they changed they that, but it seat, wasn't bro. like that before. No, uh-huh. that's no. crazy. Yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. Them fine motherfuckers walking around. Ooh, have you ever seen a Bob Sellers body? Bob's letter body, Holy Jesus shit. Father. Cool you have bro. Yeah. Oh, oh. The <laughs> booty. Oh my God, the booty. The booty on the Bob letter. Uh. Bob Slater, boo that. You know who is super, super <laughs> shape, bro? Dude, yeah. Super, super shape. <laughs> it's the guy that does the uh, the, the sprint on ice. Oh, yeah. They, there they no, have to. There's no fat no, but, on that motherfucker. Yo, oh. check this out. So what the yeah. girl told me, she said that you would not believe how many times I've been hit with blades. Because you know the blades chip off because of the ice. Yeah. Oh, she shit. said you have to learn how to fall because you can literally sit someone's throat. You can cut someone's finger off. So if you ever watch them oh, fall, dude. you uh, I always be like, why don't they stop themselves? The motherfuckers just lay there and slide. And people, ah. because they got straight, they can't even carry it on the plane. Like they have to check them a in a special. And did you know that they're molded to their feet? They get them molded to their oh, feet, so, so they can have perfect. Can it's a it. perfect fit. Not anybody can wear them. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. It's fucking crazy. So the blades are so sharp. Like, like she said that sometimes you know you get cut in the face. You get. She said you fall in the ice. She said the ice is sharp. Yo, yeah. it's so much shit I found out, yo. It's cray, cray shit I found out. So how long? How much have, weed oh, was in that um <laughs> in the skiers area? No, we I didn't I didn't I didn't fuck around. I, I, <laughs> I, brought, I think I bought a vape, you know, and was lucky to do that. But I don't, I didn't even fuck around. I was too scared. Rio, I, I was too scared to do that type of shit. Oh, you, oh, you, I thought you were at the winter game. I went I went to the winter one too. I went to the winter one. Pion chain, pion. <laughs> it was it was it was that was off the chain because I wasn't into Winter Olympics, but it was pretty it was pretty interesting also. Oh shit! But on the one that the the one um With the, the one Winter Olympic game is popular in Pittsburgh and North, Northern America. What the one, the one that looks like two Mexicans mopping. The little curling. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Curling. How hard is that? Hey, shit? those guys. It looks easy. How That's hard no is joke, it? It's the dude. most boring shit to watch. Really? You we I, man, let me tell you something. They had to get me up out there. You're a curling champion over here. I was so mad. I was like, Number get one, me eh? out of this, this fucking brushing shit. Like this. <laughs> uh, take me to a, uh, take me to the trampoline. I rather go see the trampoline jump. They had so many events. What There's kind of so groupies many. they have for curling guys? Yeah, right. Like, 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 like. Well, you're talking like about housewives or you're shit. talking about hundred condoms here, right? I don't, I mean, Linebackers. I don't how many? Know. The, how many kind of the curling guys? I don't, guys I don't get, know. Eh? They all look like nerds too. <laughs> the motherfuckers have to know how to, and they loud too. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. It was like the most annoying fucking sport and the most loudest. Like, all right, bring it. What? I got, I got. Ah, what? Shut the fuck up. Like besides the Olympics. That sport doesn't have an audience, right? I, no, I can't it pick. has an audience. Yeah, really? every sport has a fucking audience. Dude. All of them have. It's so crazy. Everybody. Really? Oh my god! What about the bike one? The bike one, which I didn't understand. The one that goes in a circle. Wheel is like this thin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thin that's the fun. one that goes around the circle. Oh my god! Dude. It's crazy. You can fuck yourself up in that shit, yo. It's like a bowl. Like it's like a bowl. I said, like, I, all I was waiting is for water to come up so it could be just like, oh y'all just wash to the middle. <laughs> now in the middle of it, it looks just like a bike shop. Cause it's so many bikes and how you fix bikes, <laughs> it's in fucking insane. And oh, where where was we at? Was it Rio? Rio. They had the seat, and I took a picture. And they did say, cause it's really a, a they're beautiful out there. That seat literally said for fat people. <laughs> Hilarious. I, I was like, what? what? I, mean, I, I took a picture of it. It was like, oh, how dare you, motherfuckers? It was, it was in Portuguese. Yeah, it was something. It was like El Fato or something. <laughs> what What's up, things? food dates? El Fato. September 1st. That's this Friday. I'll be at Coachella. September yeah. 2nd, Saturday, Ooh. Laredo, Texas. The Coachella, Coachella. September 8th to the 10th, Phoenix, Arizona. September 15th, Temecula. Temecula. September 16th, Abilene, Texas. I believe I'll be at Abilene. I believe. I believe and I believe. Fresno, followed by Merced and Visalia. Tickets at FelipeWorld.com. Uh, I mean, the book comes out September the 19th. September the 9th. 19th. 19th. Woo! Wow, there your brain is. your brain really worked like that? <laughs> Let's your brain just said, fucking fuck Jones. the rest of the sentence. 
Oh my God! There it is. The book tour is right here. Copy it, oh post it, God. paste it, save oh it. So Xerox funny. copy. It. Tell her you said oh you listened to her on the What's Up Food podcast What's up, and bring food? her a little gift, side gift for her, right? Don't Hell be a yeah. dick. Yeah, man. OG Kush, don't be y'all a dick. Don't, y'all don't Undercover. have it. Don't even say it is. I hate motherfuckers that say they got it. You ain't got it, bitch. Just bring me the Story best of my life. you got. Hey, remember back in the day, man, before fame, before we used to go to places where there was no weed, no nothing? And they would go, we'll, we'll come back, do it, we're gonna take care of you. And they come, go, I got you an ounce for sixty dollars, yeah. and it was the worst shit ever. <laughs> Alfalfa. Or you gonna say they have bird beaks inside of it? Yeah. 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 Less, Horrible. What? I, I have a question for Leslie. I want yes, to sir. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, Heather. Repeat this for me because I'm gonna cut it out. Okay. Uh, the joke you did. One of the first jokes you did on SNL. On the, the joke show. you did about the slave. About you, the, Felipe, you remember me doing that joke? Yeah. yeah. You, you, you did it you before. You remember that, right? And I remember the backlash you got for it. Yeah, and that, and that was just a regular bid back in the day. Because that was one of the, another one of those, you know, kind of cancel culture sort of things. Oh, man, I don't go. You can't, remember that bid you did about dick. Dick. Ca- Cancel this dick. Anyway, go ahead. Listen, listen. Remember let me you did that joke something. on SNL? I was doing that joke fucking seven years, years yeah. before I even got SNL. Right. Doing it black clubs, white clubs, and That's then everybody, all of a sudden motherfuckers got mad because first of all, you don't have a fucking sense of humor. The whole joke was built around like me talking about if I was back in the slave days, I, me myself, would have been considered a mandingo. I'm six feet tall. I, I'm six feet tall. I, would, I, I mean, they would definitely would be trying to replica me. They would definitely be trying to breed another motherfucker like me. So, yes, I would have all of the best men. I would never be single. That's what the whole, the whole <laughs> oh basis God. of the joke was. I would never be single Should back be in one, the day. I would get the best men. Should be one clone breeding machine. Yeah, well, that's, what, but that's what I was. I was like, I was like, I'd be the number one draft slave pick. <laughs> so, so one, motherfuckers, man. motherfuckers lost. Motherfucker, and, and if you ever see me do the joke, it's fucking hilarious because I said every every nine months I'll be in the corner. Shat. Kobe, <laughs> Kimbo Slice. Kimbo <laughs> Slice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Knocking motherfuckers out right there by a satellite. Like, <laughs> hey, bro. And then I used to go, and then I used to go, I used to go, Prince. No, nah, put him back in. He not there. <laughs> yeah, I remember that <laughs> shit. You remember, do you remember they I used to do that Hell shit. no. Ah! <laughs> I just gotta put him back in here. <laughs> He's too light. Yo, I'm telling you Favorite right flame. now, you throw him out. Do, in. Throw so him in the many fire. times. So when I did the shit publicly, it was mostly black people that went after me. But I was like, I did this shit for for the longest, and of course, you know, people came after me. Oh, we gonna. I was like, I'm about to really go hard. I think I came out, and I was like, y'all think that's bad? <laughs> oh, you've met a bitch who's had content. I don't give a fuck. I have been stomped like a mud hole. You think that what the fuck you say about Hell me yeah. online will hurt my feelings? I have been talked about the best. You know what? AJ Johnson, I stole this from AJ Johnson. AJ, we was He was snapping right, on me, and this is in my early days. AJ Johnson said, I wouldn't fuck you with my enemy's pussy, with my enemy's dick, or something like that. But I say, I, I switch it around now. But th- do you get what I'm saying? So you think that you you can snap on me? You think you can say something about me online? That mother- motherfucker, I will destroy you. So it was like, when they came after me, I was like, oh, that pissed you off? Oh, wait till you see what I'm about to do now. <laughs> and that's the thing about cancel culture and all of that. Like, I've been trained, motherfucker. You're that's not talking funny, to man. some weak motherfucker <laughs> who ain't work they swore. I'm a samurai. <laughs> I'll cut your motherfucking ass in half, Ching. bitch. Bill, I do this. Kill I've Bill done Ford, this. bitch. Don't you, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You can't challenge me. You're not going to cancel me. I've been working too hard. Here's, cancel this dick. Here's another joke that's hilarious. That um, people don't get, but I, I always thought it was funny when you said that. Um, and uh, people get hurt. I get people will get hurt now, but it's always been a great joke when you said that. Um, if I ever had a man who's gay, and I'd be motherfucker, are you gay? And you could have did, you could do my hair. How come you never did my hair? Yeah, you said if I had a brother who was gay. He goes, you, you, you be gay this whole time? Oh, and gay. you never did my hair? You never did my nails? Oh, wow, and I never developed that. You Bro. Never yeah, we were together. I it was never a, developed but, it, though. But that's your joke. Wow. That's your joke. Her and I always talk about that joke. 
No I shit. Out of him when I was high when I met you. Yeah. He said he got yeah, 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 yeah. The weed was here. The weed was here yeah. before you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You know what? I sure did because I used to do this joke about all the dating I would got. Yeah. You remember the, the guy that had to dress, the guy that wore my panties? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I was like, yeah, motherfucker, you've been doing hair all this time and you ain't doing my shit. You've been fucking me and my hair nappy and oh. all. Yeah, see, the wee. The wee. I remember that. She I said, remember that. But she oh was, my God. She said she I cut that motherfucker wearing her panties, dog. That's the worst. You can keep them. They look so much better yeah. on you. Get, be gay. And, and then I used to say, yo, yo, how many kids do you got? The baby on the way count as a baby. <laughs> Hilarious. <Yeah>. Yes. Get <laughs> <laughs> a motherfucker. Jesus, yeah, Jesus, take oh, the wheel. Yeah. yeah. Just, Did mean, you have like, a choke on so far? You got your motherfucker cheating, you'll beat his church, ass. I'll be like, but I love him, mama. <laughs> but I love him. I'm going to have a baby by him. Was that saying? was funny, man. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. The one about you never did my hair. See, now that show you how long we go back. That's crazy. Cause that, that, I might have to bring that one you back. You should bring that shit back. Yeah, Let's see how many days they come out. You ain't never did my shit. You been doing everybody else hair, yeah. motherfucker. Do you see my shit, <laughs> motherfucker? You could have all this time. You could have been picking out my outfits. All yeah. my outfits, yes. You could have been could, matching you, my shit, motherfucker. You, you been you, seeing me walking around looking like a fucking you, asshole, you and you could have been dressing me this whole time. All this whole time, you could have been my mirror, motherfucker. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> I remember that, Joe. I chose to crack me up, man. Hilarious, dude. Damn. Funny, What's up, bro? How the sideburns? Are they coming back? You're growing out little by little, dude. Oh, my it. God. You don't have sideburns. Yeah, That's I know. fucking odd. This, yeah, this old That's Mexican. That's odd as fuck. That's odd as fuck. Old Mexican son. lady cut my hair, and she fucked, she fucked me up, dude. Your mom. Yeah, See, Mexican dude. ladies, they put a menudo bowl over your head. Yeah, and, that's, they, and they just cut down. I, yeah. I see that happening. I mean, they just cut like, down. Like no sideburns. <laughs> it's about, like no sideburns. It's lady. almost like you don't have no eyebrows. It's weird. I feel, na- I feel like my, my temples ears, feel exposed. You know? Do your ears weird? feel cold? Your ears feel my cold? My ears, my temples. I feel like, yeah, it's weird, dude. How long is it going to take your uh, your shit to grow back? I, I hope like maybe two more weeks. My hair grows out pretty quick. I already did it on a Saturday, yeah. With no sideburn, did they, they add sideburn? They, they gave me, they gave me an extra haircut that day. Oh. So they it, cut the fucking shit more. Yeah, they just probably sat you down and went. Yeah, it, it was. We already hired him. Okay, it, yeah, yeah, they're like, oh. no, he's already, he's already signed the papers. <laughs> just, for, just fade the shit out and just. Try. It was from a pomade uh, uh, brand. You oh, that's even worse. Yeah, oh, you were like a doorman, non-binary at a lesbian karaoke bar. <laughs> Bro, yeah, I, yeah, I look like yeah, dude. <laughs> 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 like a transgender little boy. Yeah, yeah. It looks like I ran out of money. I'm stuck in the middle, you know. Nah, hey, it didn't look like bad, bro. Like, like if you have a, like if you have a boyfriend who's like crazy and shit, and you call him the your Transmanian devil. Transmanian devil. <laughs> you around, said bro. you would call it. No, if you call him that, your your little Transmanian yeah. devil right here. I'm from right? Transylvania, bro. Ready to go. <laughs> nah, don't do that. <laughs> nah, he's the gay vampire. These Where are you from? Are not nice. He's from Transylvania. Yeah, I want to suck nah, you. can have them on Rizzo. That's your shit. I want to suck, suck your dick. That's your speed right there. Yeah. Sucklevania. Hey, Sucklevania. have you done a joke? Because I know that. Have you done a joke from the past? And brought it if back? you do it now, like, you get young people on TikTok get mad. Yeah, I mean, old jokes. Has, there's old First jokes. First of all, what did that girl call you again? That young girl? A boomer. No, no, not a boomer. Uh, NPC. 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 What's an NPC? It's like a a non playable character, which is like video games. video games. Those people that don't uh, that give you advice. Yeah, yeah. She's about to lose so it. So it's, it's a Gen Z. It's a Gen Z slur. It's a Gen right? Z it's, insult it's, to it's, us. Yeah, it's slur. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, oh my I, uh, god, you do look like that kid riding that bike in fucking oh, um, and, uh, paper boy. You a boy, Sam, yeah. son? So, you yeah. a Sam? I'm a Sam, yeah. They call me non playable character. Man, fuck yeah. that bitch. Did you say you a non fuckable character, bitch? <laughs> basic ass bitch. I forgot, I called you her, her. Too. I, I got mad, you know, because like. Oh, he said, bitch. who's gay? 
Cause I've never been called the like. Why are you gay? I've never been insulted by a by a Gen Z kid or like a person, you know, like. He's well, a first millennial. Of all, that's not an insult because don't nobody know what the fuck that is. Yeah. You just all, you literally yeah. just named the Gatorade drink. <laughs> Gen Z, give you. me the Gen Z Gen with the extra Z, yeah. electrolytes. <laughs> electrolytes. <laughs> yeah, it's electrolytes. Oh man. Nah, man, y'all, y'all, You're a y'all cool so dude. young and so smart, y'all stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because like I can just come in and really hurt all of your feelings, and then it's sad. Y'all have to all go to therapy and take Xanax and shit Z- instead <laughs> of going home. Like, like whenever I got snapped on, I would go home and th- and put that motherfucker's picture and just think of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck this ugly motherfucker. Look at this oh my god! I then you're Shoot the perfect you're the perfect person to tell you this. I did a show. At least I could read the letter for you. I did a show in Chicago when I was working on my new special, and it was kind of, oh. my, my comedy keeps getting darker and darker and funnier and funnier. And um, there was a class from uh, Chicago. The, you know Chicago? Portland, you know Portland. Northwestern University? There's a, there's a uh, university inside. Well, it, it, it doesn't matter what the, who they were. They're, they take a class. It's a college course. Liberal arts. Diversity Liberal arts? I'm trying to get to there. It's diversity and sensitivity was in the class. Why even have a class? So they're there studying diversity and sensitivity diversity at my show. Sensitivity. Yeah. So they're teaching people how to be uh, more sensitive Bitches. to diverse yeah. shit? Yeah. So my comedy was hardcore death, metal, and fucking dark to them, right? Like very, like not, like... Because I talked about my mom getting beat up on my dad and, and then me peeing on my pants. And then my mom making fun of me for not helping her beat up my dad. And I said, that's why you got your ass kicked for you talk too much. That's a funny You know, so joke. that's a hardcore joke. Yeah, you always been doing it. Yeah, it's a hardcore joke. You but remember the joke? They you sent her a like, long don't, li- don't drive. Don't, like, you get with a new girl and now she want to go show you off. It's like, yeah. you're not going to win. Yeah. This is not a fight that you should be trying yeah. to do. <laughs> What's it tell you in that letter? Everybody was triggered by my comedy at that show. <laughs> that Everybody but you. So what they do, go back to that she dorm room? So she wanted... It was horrible. She thought it was horrible. It wasn't funny. So Lisa, Lisa they had, the girl said, but I'm going to fight your case. Yeah. But I want you to give me more info about yourself so I could fight, have your back at the school. Oh. And I want to what, tell they her... they going to pay you or something? And I, no, they were going to debate my comedy, but she was the only one who liked it. Oh, my God. They were, the whole class well, Okay, hold on. So this is after the show. Yeah. Is, and you done got paid and everything. Right, right, so do you think I give a fuck, oh. bitch, right, about yeah. you? Debate. Y'all can debate this dick. <laughs> so they wanted to break down this comedy. I thought, I thought, I was, I back. I was I, I thought it was. Back. Y'all could debate I this I thought it was dick. interesting that they were actually. And she wrote me a real long letter like. I thought one of those but fucking very cast amazing, letters. It's amazing that people think that they need to undeniable. Like, like it's almost for political stance. I don't give. You, a, get, you get flat. No, you, you got a long letters too, right? Come on. I if I do, I have never read. Oh my god, give a fuck no. about it. man! I don't How do you entertain that? yourself stopped, at night? I stopped doing that shit when the Ghostbusters shit happened because you can't get wrapped up. And stupid what people happened to that are fucking, I love that movie. That are fucking warriors behind a goddamn keyboard. Oh man, what happened came to Ghostbusters? Oh I love God. it. I I played. I I made the mistake. I made a mistake of being a black woman playing a Ghostbuster. Oh, that was and a let great me movie. tell you something. I got all. Did you a cab of, driver? Man, I got all kind. No, I was a I was a subway. Oh yeah. Um, I got all kinds. Of, I'm a kill you, nigga. I'm a drug. I'm a dr- all kinds. Of, I had you pictures where people phone. jacked off on my picture. It was just like all kinds of fucking Fuck. Wait, stupid <laughs> shit that you like, shit. like, like, like all kinds of fucking. I'm a, like, like, I'm a, like, you know, just all kinds. Well, I'm of glad stuff. I have a little part in Blue Beetle. Eh? Yeah. Just, just like stupid shit. Just like, you know, because you know, <laughs> over a fucking movie, over a movie that's pretend. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So. What happened That's was weird you I made the that, mistake. You know? I made the mistake of fucking starting to read that shit, and and you it really got to you. no, it didn't really get to me. You know what it made me feel like? It made me go, oh wow, there really are some crazy. Oh, there's crazy people out there. Like, yeah. Oh no, there's really some very and uneducated 
very scary motherfuckers yeah. out there. The thing that's only thing that scared me about it, only thing, was that I didn't want some crazy motherfucker running up to me going, No, you shouldn't be a Ghostbuster and stab me. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. that's stupid people. So yeah. whenever people would Bill come Murray. out. Bill Murray forever. Yeah, yeah, like yeah exactly. Whenever, <laughs> yeah, like, and that's real talk. Terrible like, so rabbit, whenever bitch. people like that would come mm. out and say they didn't like the Ghostbusters or something like that, they put us in danger. So it was just like, yo, I, you these people will kill for you. They're fanatics. Fuck They're you, Rick Moranis. Yeah. The best. People yeah. mad just because women were playing the roles now. Yeah. Stupid so ass shit. Like, but you know, if you go all the way back to anything, anything, when, whenever you put a woman in, people got mad. Yeah, totally. The first That's woman to join a, a, a fucking, uh, one of those long distance runnings, what they call a marathon. Oh, yeah. They tried they to were, stop her. They, they were, tried to stop her. They were spitting at her, bro. Dude, really? They were spitting at her and throwing hot coffee yo, they at her. Was, they, yo, they jumped. They were, they was they were jumping her and at her. Yo, yo, is so she listen, still finished the race? This, what? Yeah, we're saliva. Yeah, she still uh, fucking huh. finished the race. But like see, a soldier what, and the is, first female reporter from sports, they, they, were, they were never let her in the locker room. She had to wait outside. Wait outside, bro. Wait, You're in a country outside. where women didn't get the right to vo vote till 1920, dude. And that that's was why, white women. That's why I love that yeah. that, Mar that, that Family Guy episode when um when um Peter Griffin is watching an old timey porno yeah. and he goes and, and it's just a woman voting <laughs> and he goes, "Look at you, you rebel voting." Yeah. Think about it. I mean, dude, just go, witches, fucking the Salem witch trials. Go back to that shit in this country. Oh no, and witches, you was a witch if you had. And that was a bullshit. Headache but witches were just like, that's what I'm saying. If you had PMS, you if 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 you was yeah. if you wanted to be smart, you wore a dress, or you wanted to read, or you had a baby from the pastor, yeah, you or, made it go pumpkin you, pie. That's, like even, that's even. Yeah, you had an affair. Oh, if you had an affair, the woman could definitely say you was a witch and they kill you. Yeah. It it's it makes me sad to even think about this history and that we haven't moved very yeah. much from. It's 2023, like 103 years later, and it's we still dumb as fuck. We haven't evolved, and and, and let me explain something to y'all. We enjoy your life because we are hell yeah slowly killing ourselves. That's what we're doing. And you're killing. Don't get me started. Faster. Don't get don't get him started on chemtrails. Uh -huh. But you're killing yourself faster worrying about all the bullshit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck at this point because I'm, I'm closer to death. I can act death. like I give a I'm fuck, but I don't death. give a fuck. Because I'm closer to death than I am not. So, And I've lived a good life. Asteroid hit us now. Uh -huh. I want to know why would you just like the gimp? The gi <laughs> you what know? gimp? Look, you're just all in black. Oh, yeah. At the Pope Fiction, all you need is a mask. I don't have the mask. <laughs> we'll get it God for you. God summer, dude. <laughs> was, you, was, was you prior right as your yeah, favorite man. comedian growing up? Uh, no, nah, yeah, Richard Richard Pryor was definitely the first comic. George that, Carlin too. That I uh no, jo Richard Pryor was definitely the first comic that I heard that I was like, it, when you laugh from the inside, when I say the tickle, the tickle that goes really deep in your stomach, and mm. I was like, why is this dude talking about something it's that weird, I've huh? been through and making it funny? Like he was talking about whooping, he's about to switch tree, mm -hmm. and I think that was one of the first jokes that I was like, holy yeah, fuck! Yeah. He said he was like, no, nah, he said when he he said that he would go out. He said he'd be driving. He's like have flashbacks and see a Swiss tree, and then he would jump out the car and be like, "No, nah, you chop that motherfucker! You're not gonna whoop nobody's ass!" Like, and it was so funny to me. I was like, "Fuck! That's how the fuck you make me laugh like from the inside like that." So there was a lot like that. I, uh, George Carlin was 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 definitely in that Red Fox, Millie Jackson. Me too, man. Um, uh, Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton was was like very his movements. Yeah, the yeah. Facial something that I fucking. Uh, you have funny people in your family? Uh, my grandmother. My, everybody was funny. Everybody was funnier than me. I used to tell my brother before he passed away, I told him, I was like, if you ever decide to do comedy, I'm in trouble. Because, like, he was funny. Like, like my sister is funny, but she don't think she's funny. That's the bad thing. Yeah, but see, but she's those are people that funny. can't, like, the, the people, like, see, that's why I tell people, like, oh, what's professional and what's amateur? Well, let me tell you something. I can go out and I can, you can make us laugh here in this living room, but I can make y'all laugh, then I can make your mama laugh, and I can make her her friends laugh and they friends' friends laugh. That makes me a motherfucking professional. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. People say, oh, no, you're not a professional until you're making money. Nah, I know a lot of professionals ain't making money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. What's your Instagram? People can follow you. Uh, Let's Dog with four Gs. Let's Dog. Let's yes, go. Yes, baby, because I'm a G, bae. Because I'm a motherfucking G, son. Uh, triple OG. Go ahead. I was going to ask you, you were a telemarketer for... Uh... 
Uh, the truth for is Scientology, right? Scientologists, yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. The Doran Company. Oh, yeah. oh my I God, really? I for like two. I worked this in a book? A little bit. I'm upset. Not, not too thought. much, but a little bit. Yeah, I did talk about it. It was two companies in Glendale. <coughs> if you work in Glendale, you work for Scientologists. <laughs> Scientologists or our my media. friend. It's either one. <laughs> did they, did they try to recruit you? or All the time, because oh I was my. very smart. So they was always trying to hack me. They Wait, call it hatch you. You weren't a Scientologist? No, I was not. Yeah, they they own a lot of little companies and stuff. So I worked at this. Uh, you know how but when you they call your house you were not and they ask you about your car there. and stuff. Yeah, that's what I would do. I would do surveys. So they had a company like that, and I worked for a construction company. Oh, that they, that, that they all own all of that shit. And it was all very dude. weird. They would always try to hat me. And I was like, what's that hat shit? And she was like, you know, because we want to bring you up because mm. we think that we should recruit. I was like, bitch, I'm a Christian. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, I used to always be like, I believe in God. What do you believe in? I used to argue with them in the office. I used to be like, you don't believe at lunchtime. I'd be like, what do you believe in? You can't tell me what you believe in. You only believe in yourself. So, so what, what is that? What, 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 what do you believe in? Like they could never tell me that. So they, they I would have always, a straight answer to that. Oh no, but they didn't give a fuck because I could do those those surveys really quick. You know what I'm saying? So when they started learning that I didn't really want to be a Scientologist, that's when they set me up. They set me up. They started really listening to my calls and. And I fucking skipped a question, I think, one night or something. <laughs> because the guy was rushing me off the phone. And I, it was the same question, so I didn't ask him the question. And he was like, oh, you skipped the question, so we're going to let you go. And I was making money there. They, they pay you good. And this was like uh, in the early days of your stand-up. This is, this, is, uh, this is before I started back comedy. It was like 91, 92, oh, something wow. like that. And that was before anybody really knew what the fuck that was. Yeah, yeah. man. And, yeah. and then I went to work for another Scientologist that was a fucking construction company. And, I, you know, they were frequent jobs there. So I was, <clears throat> I went, I didn't like that because that, it was a family thing. And they all were Scientologists except for me and the head contractor. And we would look at these motherfuckers like, y'all motherfuckers, because they would go bathe. They, they would call it a bathe. Really? Like they would go on the weekend Damn. and all of them would bathe together. And it was just so creepy and Wait, gross. So, babe? so I was just like, <laughs> I was just fuck? like, okay, well, I'm gonna see if I can get another job because there was another job they was offering. It was more money. <laughs> no bathing. And I came to work the next day, and the guy was like, Who's "So kidding? I know you went and had a, um, um, you know, um, job interview. A job interview." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" He was like, "Yeah, you went to go have a job interview." And I was like, yeah, because it's paying more money and it's better hours. And he was like, well, you're not going to get that job. And I'm going to fire you from this one. So that's how I got fired from that. Damn. But then I just told them all to go fuck themselves. I was like, what's oh. up, I fool? Said, I said, go fuck yourself, you Scientologist, scary ass pieces of shit, motherfuckers. Y'all all going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> what a journey. Do they try to recruit you? No, because I already told them to go to hell. You're, you're, and I, and I'm friends with Leah Remney. She would never let oh, me. Oh shit! What's up, full podcast with Leslie Jones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much. Uh, thank Rosigo, you, did you meet anybody at the show that wanted to get a shout out? Bumper and also Smokeville. Uh, dispensary oh yeah, Roy. What's up, Roy? In a uh, Corpus Christi, Texas, for all your oh, smoking yeah. needs. Yeah, man. What's up? What's up? September fifteenth or both comes out. Nineteen. September nineteenth. Oh, September nineteen. Go check you out poor Leslie's audience. book. Get These motherfuckers here do not know how. September 19th. 19th. Yeah, Listen to my voice. Book, book Listen showing. to my voice, not Pre theirs. September 19. Can I say, uh, this Saturday, I'm headlining uh, the Well Comedy Club in Bakersfield. Go check out Martin Turn Rizzo up, at the Well in Bakersfield. Brand new club, brand new owner, badass. Uh, it's been a long time since Bakersfield had a comedy club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably Jay Davis never. was the last one, right? Yes. But it's actual, an actual comedy club, man. Now. The Look. Well. And make us feel that, um, how much are the tickets? They are 20 bucks a ticket. 20 come bucks. Down, uh, yeah, Come on, yeah. man. Go support hey, Martin Rizzo and Bakersfield. They sold out already no. for the VIP table, so come out, guys. Oh, oh, oh.